America is not a racist country. Who's a thought? And this may piss a couple of you guys off, but I don't really care. So, you know how they're saying, supposedly, that we don't have enough people to unload these cargo ships or truck drivers to distribute this stuff? Well, why don't we have all these illegal immigrants who are coming over here unload the shit for us? And then not only that, unload the shit for us, distribute it, and work for us for the next five years to earn their stay here. What do you think about You know, ladies and gentlemen, see, this right here is the true, authentic, lazy person. Not the people that they try to imply are lazy. They are lazy. Anytime somebody is suggesting slavery like this woman is, this is your lazy SOB right here. So this Karen suggested enslaving migrants for five years to be indentured servants. Well, if you really want that job done, how come people that look like you won't take your ass out there and get the job done? Still trying to get somebody else to do the heavy lifting. Well, those days are done. There will be no slavery 2.0. There's a reason why as soon as we passed the 400 year mark in 2019, disease and pestilence came onto the land. a disease you still can't get rid of, a disease you still can't manage, a disease you still uh, allegedly created medicine, you still didn't come up with something to get rid of it. And you won't because your time is up. There is no more slavery. Nobody's gonna slave for you anymore. Those times are so done, it's not even funny. So if you want anything done up in this society, you want to get off your flat asses and do it yourself. Otherwise, stop suggesting that somebody else be slaves up here. You, you be one. You be one since you see it as no problem. No, but see, if she's going to be frank, let me be frank. Nobody is lazier than people that need slaves. So let me be honest and not care. So this woman made this TikTok video and she received a lot of backlash because what she was suggesting was make slaves out of the immigrants, make them the slaves. Don't, don't pay them nothing. Make them do the work for five years and let them do the heavy load for five years. Why don't you get your ass out there and unload those cargo ships for five years? You do it. Stop suggesting that other people do it. You get your ass out there and do it. So since she got dragged all over social media, she has since wiped out her social media account after receiving all kinds of backlash, and it's rightfully so. The same people that came into this country looking for slaves is the same one suggesting slavery centuries later. And you don't think this reflects bad on you. No, it, it screams lazy. That's what it does. It screams lazy. So ladies and gentlemen, people also found out where this Karen worked. Her name is Yvonne Elaine Brown. And they contacted her employer and she was immediately fired. So she was a sales, um, looked like a sales associate for a hair product company. That's what she did for a living. Well, she's no longer there anymore. So people went to uh, TikTok, Twitter, and all kinds of social media 
um, platforms where she used to be, and she completely wiped out everything, all of her social media. Even the video itself where she suggested slavery, okay? <laughs> Other people have it. That's how I got it. I got it through another TikToker. But her original video is not there. So, okay, guys, here's a thought. This might piss a couple of you guys off, but I really don't care. That's why I don't care about calling people like her lazy. Let me be frank. So you know how uh, they're saying supposedly we don't have enough people to unload these cargo ships or truck drivers to distribute this stuff. Well, why don't we have all these illegal immigrants who are coming over here unload this shit for us because they're not slaves. You know, you may not be paying them the biggest salary in the world, but they are still not working for free. But I'm not shocked. Nobody should be shocked at who's suggesting slavery. Lord have mercy. Well, um, why don't we have all of these illegal immigrants who are coming over here unload this shit for us because they're not slaves? Why don't you get out there and unload it since you want it so bad? Get on out there and unload it yourself. Get your family, get your friends, get volunteers, and y'all all go down there and unload it since you want it unloaded so bad, lazy. So not only that, unload the shit for us, distribute it, and work for us for the next five years. So she's suggesting they work for free. That's a slave. For the next five years to earn their stay here. You didn't even earn your stay here. You invaded a land. How is that earning? You didn't even do those things. How the hell are you going to suggest that to somebody else? Okay, um, what do you think about that? I think you think you still got a slave master mentality. That's what I think. And I'm glad you lost your job. Because obviously, if you think people should be slaves, then how do you have good people skills? And quite frankly, you ain't worth being a slave for. You aren't even worth being a slave for the first time. You really ain't worth it now. Okay, <laughs> you, you really ain't worth that now. All right, so... All right, so the video, um, you know, got 1.7 million views since posting on October 21st. I think you're asking for slavery back, they said. Before you say, that's not what I'm saying because I know I know how TikTok and, and white women tears work. <laughs> I know, but look what I found already. So the person found her place of employment and posted the phone number of where she worked and people actually called her place of employment. And like I said, she got fired. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Should we be surprised? No. No. These kind of thoughts and the people that think this way still exist to this very day. But one thing they won't do it suggests people that look like them be the slaves. They always looking for somebody with some brown hue in their skin to do the job that they have failed. You know why America looks the way that it is? And you got a worker shortage and the great resignation and people don't want to return back to the office because people like you have failed. You failed. You failed in leadership. You failed on these jobs, mistreating people and underpaying people. We wouldn't be in this situation if you didn't fail. 
okay? America is failing. And some of you are just still sitting there, oh, it's going to come back. Oh, it's going to come back. No, it won't. No, it won't. See, you built this capitalist system with no backup plan. You just knew everything you did was permanent. Now it is crumbling right before your eyes. It ain't so permanent anymore, is it? You haven't done anything to make your leadership permanent. So how would it be permanent? People don't want to work for you. They don't like the way they're treated on the job. They don't like how they're underpaid. And furthermore, many of them are content with working from home. And many of them are saying they don't care if they go into debt. They're not going back out here to work. So what does that say about you being the leaders that you were out in the labor force? You failed. You failed. Okay, people are tired of abusive work environments. They're tired of their kids going to school and being picked on and abused over race and dealing with a Karen teacher. And people are really tired overall of, of this whole America thing. They are. I don't have to say these things. All you got to do when those worker shortage articles come out, go look at some of the comment section. You will see a majority of very unhappy people. And who was leading these very unhappy people? People that look just like Karen here. <laughs> so now what, what are you, you doing? You, you got a president that's trying to come up with ways to rob from the people through the IRS. You're running out of options and ways to get this economy fueled. You just can't do it. If you really want to know what's going on, crack open a Bible. It's all in there. It's all in there. You were given a certain amount of time to lead. It is over now. Every year is going to be worse than the year before. You think 2022 was going to be better? It won't. Neither will 2023, neither will 2024, and so on and so forth. You know, why don't you teach everybody that there was an ending to your rulership. Why don't you teach that? Why are you avoiding it? There is no one on this planet that can't see that something is wrong. But see, in order for you to deal with that, you got to live in reality and y'all don't do that too well. So was I frank enough for you and not care? I sure hope so. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.